Hi Tubers and Tubats, Bleach PC here, shooting another video for you guys to see. There's something wrong with my camera. The batteries died in it and there's like four minutes missing from the uh the uh the time on my SD card and my camera. I can only I used to be able to make eighteen minutes. Now I can only do like fourteen point forty five seconds. I'm thinking about in the future getting a new SD card that's like eight gigabytes just to slap in this camera so I can make longer videos. But on to this, I'll explain to you what I have here. As you can tell by the pictures that I showed you the stuff. First, I'll tell it this is over here. You've seen this before. This is the drive belt. I uh, picked this up at the dollar store. It's a uh, star wrench gear thing for, uh, no, it's not star wrenches. It's Ang Ang Allen wrenches. I believe they're Allen wrenches. That's what it is. The star wrench one I have is in the garage. I got that at Home Depot. But I just wanted to show you these. You can't really see them. But I, I can't really focus good on these pictures. But this one here, that's a snapper key. I believe they originally sold those at the mower. And uh, here is a Toro key. I believe that's for like a wheel horse. Now I own a snapper riding mower. I figured it would be uh, nice to uh, have an original snapper key. I think they're quite rare. I only paid four dollars for both of these on eBay and that included shipping and uh, today the deck belt came for the 99 MTD yard machines and I hope to cut with it soon there's some people where I am cutting grass already so uh, I put the belt on it with my neighbor but this week it's, it's Easter uh, Sunday so we're not going to be mucking with that stuff maybe next week or whenever he feels like it and I also picked up two rubber mallets and I'll tell you why this one I got in the same place in a dollar store as I uh, got this and I never owned a rubber mallet before I didn't know how to tell the difference between the good ones this one's a good one I picked this up at Walmart but this one I got from a dollar store and I thought that I just didn't really look at them most of the heads were off these uh, it's even got a crack there. I might just glue this thing and still use it. Well, I can see why it was a dollar. See if I can do this. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's real dangerous. I think it would fly and hit me in the face or somewhere far worse I won't mention on a guy. And, yeah, that's pretty dickered right there. That's no good. So I'm thinking of getting some uh, Gorilla Glue and putting that together. Yeah, my mother was funny. She's saying, but all right, she's calling this a dummy stick. Yeah, so... I was kind of playing with this in the car because they're excited about a new tool and I like to do that. My mother drove me to pick it up and uh, and the freaking head just fell right off of it. It's no good. So with a little glue I figured it would be fine. Today I got this for about three bucks at the Walmart. It's 16 ounces. Wanted a rubber mallet because I'm doing the mower stuff. I never really owned one before so what the hey. And you won't believe how much fun it was uh, carrying this around the store and smashing into things like uh, little displays of uh, cereals and such and clothes just for the fun of it. I was uh, kind of tired just doing weird stuff in the Walmart just messing around. But um, I don't know what else to say. I'm hoping to find another project tractor soon. Yeah, but um, I don't want to look into it because until the 99 yard machines is finished and absolutely working for a while with no problems and I want to get the snapper finished I want to get the chain back on the transmission and figure out how to put it in reverse without the chain falling off of it because I was wheeling it out backwards out of the garage and it just fell off again so what I'm thinking with the snapper is uh, is put it in the reverse gear and just pull it out that way that snapper is pretty old. It's a wonder why it worked at all after I put the chain on it. So, the snapper is not going to get done until the 99 yard machines is finished. And uh, I'll try to fix the carb on it myself. It just needs some adjusting. I had it adjusted right in that video I did last November with it cutting grass and it just got messed up again because I monkeyed with it. But yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe you guys can give me some tips on the uh, correct way to adjust those 8 horsepower carbs. I get it running correctly, and then it kind of skips a bit. It's got one of those fuel shutoffs on it, so I'm thinking you're supposed to adjust it while the fuel is going to the carburetor with the fuel shutoff. But, yeah, I don't know. So, not to the, no new projects to the, uh, the yard machines that's finished and the snapper is finished. There's some parts to weld on the snapper deck. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, that's about it. There's also some push mowers in the garage. Some might be, uh, messed up beyond repair. I'll try to work on those. Maybe shoot some videos of those. Depending on what my friend wants to do with them. He might just want to throw them the frick out. If they're just too hard to mess with. We're just basically fixing things. What we have. We're not going to keep any parts. At least he's not. I might try to buy some from him. But yeah. I might try to rebuild the carburetor that came off the, uh, the new engine. The 1994 Briggs. I don't know if it's worth it. It had like... Kind of like what Pepper Cat Keith had in his uh, carburetor to his uh, the midget cart thing he's got. Basically had baby poop in the car bowl. It looked just like it. It was gross. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll email F a guitar player see if he can help me find a carb kit or tell me if it's worth rebuilding. That might be the first riding mower carb I rebuilt. Uh, I done the ones on the little push mowers and the small gas tanks are easy. They just got a little diaphragm and they clean out. Um, I've been talking to Outdoorsman on uh, YouTube and he had a push mower similar to one I had in the garage and I put the diaphragm in the car but I cleaned the inside of it. It still doesn't run. So it's like a, one of those pro lane things. It's, it's in one of my videos from last summer. It's right next to that red one I got running. Uh, both trash pit mowers. It runs but it shuts off 30 seconds. So I'm thinking the carburetor's messed up beyond repair. My neighbor's got other, or my friend's got other, whatever, stamper guy has got other mower parts kicking around. So we might just slap another carburetor on it and see if it runs. Otherwise, if it doesn't run, it can just get shit canned, basically. Yeah. Um, don't know what else to say. So, so in a few week, couple weeks, whenever. I hope to do a video of me cutting grass at the yard machines. Huh. My mom will take it. I almost ran over in the video at the snapper. But, I, I was just joking. I wasn't really going to run over, but, I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to do. Today is Thursday. Uh, I can't wait to Easter. I used, I used to love getting Easter baskets when I was little. Not sure if I have kids that still do that watch my videos, but... I'm sorry I kind of swear on some of my videos, it is, it is stressful working on stuff, and the only thing you can think of is the swear to deal with the stress, but, um, yeah, I used to love getting Easter baskets and stuff. Years ago when I was little, uh, my mother left it right on the floor, and it just melted, and, and I stepped right in it, getting it one year, and it was kind of fun. I used to love biting the heads off of rabbits and stuff. Um, the chocolate rabbits, of course, you know what I mean, but... Yeah, I, I just looking at stuff. I've been eating a lot of Cadbury eggs, and yeah, it's so expensive. They just want 89 cents just for one Cadbury egg. I remember when I was little, early 90s or whatever, I used to be able to get them for a quarter at drugstores. And years and years ago, I bought a whole box of them at this off-brand uh, food place it was for like five bucks. They just sold it to me. It must have fell off a truck or something. They had them. Who knows? But they were good. I don't like the caramel Cadbury eggs as much, but they're good. they're okay. Um, that's about it. Oh, another story to tell. I got four minutes left. Today I went to the grocery store and it was so bright in there. It's like a Wegman's thing where I live. It's Alec Baldwin there after does commercials for them, and it's so fucking bright in there. I'm sorry, I swear, but is they put those new halogen fluorescent blobs in there and they're messing with my eyes and. The people that work there said a lot of people having problems with them too, and I just wanted to get out of the store. I took my bottles back. I, I basically had three dollars in my pop bottles, and I bought the rubber mallet with that at Walmart. Yeah, so why not? This is so bright in there. They did the same thing at the Walmart where I lived in the back by the food, but I got used to those. So I don't know. 
Maybe when they get a little dust on those lights at the Wegmans, they'll be better for me to look at. But uh, that's about it. Ten minutes of listening to me. I uh, wish everybody a happy Easter with your family. I was kind of joking with my friend today. I go swim at the Y. I said, uh, uh, that, uh, I said, well, you know, the, the ham is just not for you. It's for, for the rest of the family or something. He was laughing. He said, whoever told you that's a lie, all the ham is for me. And he, he was telling me, I talk a lot about tractors and working on stuff with them. He says, you know, Easter is, uh, about to be spent with your family, not a freaking tractor. So he got me good. He really son of a bitch me. But he's a great kid. Uh, I talked to them for years at the Y, but that's about it, guys. I'll let you go. Have a good Easter, and I hope you get lots of freaking chocolate to eat. Oh, yeah, I love chocolate. Uh, I, I don't know what those ones in Canada are called, those weird eggs with the toys in them. I learned that they're illegal in the United States because kids were choking on the toys. They're kind of like Cadbury. I think they're castor eggs or something. You smash it open. I seen it in Bliss Max video for his kid, and out comes a little toy, like a squirt toy. Uh, I'll keep talking. What the heck? Uh, I found another was interesting. I watched Upa's video. This Katie girl, and she does a lot of nature stuff, and I noticed a lot, like a lot of candy companies. The they sell different candies under under different names in uh, foreign countries, like England and the UK and stuff. But like Cadbury had a different version of candy too, over in like Canada and England and stuff. And yeah, same thing with uh, like Pepsi Company does this and Coke. They have uh, different kind of sodas in different kind of mar countries for different markets. That fan of stuff we never used to have that. That was pretty popular over in Japan. And all of a sudden, it's over here. I can't get enough of that fan of stuff. That stuff's good. Lately, I've been drinking Pepsi and uh, Cherry Dr. Pepper. I'm kind of worried the caffeine's making me sick. I get a bit buzzed and just flying off the wall doing stuff and work. But, I don't know. Just finishing up watching The Big Bang Theory. I got some work to do in the house. I hope to get this video tonight. If not, it'll be Friday. Uh... I don't know what else to say. I'm trying to think. I just worry that gas is going to get so high that no one's going to be able to go anywhere or get to work. And what I have watched these kids, they put a weed whacker engine on a bicycle. And the whole point is having a bicycle is you don't have to pay for gas to put on there. I mean, it's fun if you do it right. I see drill bikes too, but I don't know. It's cheaper using two cycle engine oil or something. I don't know the mix with gas, but no one's gonna have any be fun anymore. People with snowmobiles and people that are into the recreational vehicles like ATVs. Uh, yeah. Um, minute left. I don't know. Food's gone up too because of the cost of gas. Um, I'm hoping I would love, 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 love to take a small engine class soon. I don't know if it's going to come to be, so I'm grabbing every book I can on the subject of lawnmowers and old engines and stuff. I'm not interested really working on the new stuff. I like more of the stuff in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and the 2000s stuff I don't really like. I do like that 94 engine I picked up. It looks really nice off Craigslist. Really good deal. Swapped out the carbs. It runs. Half a guitar player was a big, big help for me. Um, I'm kind of superstitious. The video's hitting 13 minutes. I'm going to shut it off now. You guys take care. I uh, hope you have a great Easter. I know I'm kind of rambling, but I just like to talk. And you guys take care. Bye.